Hello everybody, today I am joining you from Disney Springs because I'm feeling still in the holiday spirit, okay? Almost all of my videos have been very Christmas focused. Today's no different. Today I wanna to head over to the Coca-Cola store. I saw a TikTok about a holiday flight at their rooftop bar. I'm not even sure if it's alcoholic or not but it got me so curious, I decided I'm gonna check it out myself on video and uh, let's just go see what's over there. Uh, I've been to the Coca-Cola store before and it was a really nice time. I'm kind of probably gonna skip most of the store and just head straight to the top uh, to try out these, like I said, I don't know if they're cocktails or sodas or what. Let's go find out. I'm not sure if y'all can see it, but Douglas Fir, the robotic talking tree, is out. Let's go watch. I said, what do you talk to your stuffies about? I said, what do you talk to your stuffies about? Oh my gosh. Oh, he's, he's giving <laughs> Douglas okay. for a it's hug. It's like the hug that you don't want to hug somebody. Oh man. Bye, Douglas. <laughs> Douglas is out of here. <laughs> I really hope that you could hear Douglas Fir. He, the 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 microphone speaker situation is a little harsh, uh, but Douglas Fir is a pretty. I haven't. That's the first time I've ever seen Douglas Fir, and uh, very funny character. Just just a tree, just a tree and a planter, magical tree and a planter. That is some Disney magic right there. On the way over to the Coca Cola store, I think I'm going to stop at World at Dis of Disney. Just a gander a, a quick stroll through to see if anything's new i'm noticing a few new things i have not seen the 2024 line of clothes it looks like they have a lot a lot of items in this so honestly i'm just going to kind of quickly show off I've, i haven't seen this yet i think i'm going to ignore prices and just kind of show off all these products because they have a lot of them look at this tumbler with a 2024 in there. As of recording this, it is still December 2023. Man, this is a very neon color. Holy mo, look at how that's like extruded out there. They have a bucket hat. This bucket hat, on it, it, I think it's reversible, yeah. So on one side you got a print with, oh my gosh, Mickey. I'm seeing the Pixar ball on there. A little spaceship, not spaceship Earth. Uh, Space Mountain, there's Spaceship Earth. Oh look, Minnie is in there too. So that's one side and then it looks like this is the other. So we got that same printing, but oh, that's in a, like a badge embroidered on there. Interesting, with look at the castle. That's great. This uh, mannequin is wearing that button up. Huge print, holy moly, look at the um, ride here. Oh my gosh, Dumbo. <gasps> wow, this is a really large uh, texture on here. Really, really large print. So there's that, let's look over here. Oh my gosh, honestly, there's way too much. I'm loving this, actually. The tie-dye long sleeve. Look at Mickey, his shorts are pink. I'm not exactly sure if the color is coming through. Look at Orange Bird. You got all these, all the different characters with wings. I, I swear, they're, they're, they're all there at the top. And Mickey's um, sorcerer hat. All the parks along the edge. Check out another tie-dye long sleeve. This is a thicker material. This is also a triple X, but you can take a look at the uh, printing there. Oh my gosh, look, it's like the, you know, da -da -da -da, like that. But look, you got Dumbo, you got Buzz and Tink right at the top. Oh my gosh, a zip up too. There's a zip up for 2024. That is a nice thick, that is very sick. You can, you can see why I'm like, there's honestly two. Oh my gosh, look at Figment. I keep seeing new characters I hadn't seen on the other. They, they're probably there, I just hadn't spied them yet. There's a t-shirt. This is a pullover hoodie, a big black pullover hoodie. And you can see that the printing goes from arm to arm. It's almost like a spirit jersey, but on the front. Backpack, this is a sling bag. It's a triangle sling bag. Look at that, only one strap for that. A zipper on the strap. 
You have a water bottle holder on one side, a big pocket, and a huge pocket. And it looks like there's even a laptop or iPad sleeve in there with that 2024 printing everywhere. I see a bottle I haven't picked up yet. This bottle here. Oh, Probably 2024 there. I like the, uh, the gradient. So colorful. These are really, really neon. Even a lounge fly. There's a lounge fly for everything now. I feel like lounge fly, uh, you, you'll, if, if a thing exists, there's a lounge fly for it. There's that. They also have tons of accessories, like uh, I'm seeing these type of accessories. Well, those are the ears. But um, I guess children's clothes aren't accessories. But I'm kind of feeling like that. Holy moly. <laughs> a Mickey with those pink pants. Holy moly, they put the pink pants on Mickey. And he has a little hoodie. Oh my gosh, look, there's like uh, fireworks all over him. And he's uh, blue. Oh my gosh, a onesie. Man, they went all out with this line. Look at that, look, this is just a, a completely different, I haven't seen, maybe I have. Uh, honestly, I've looked at a lot uh, of this. We're still not done. They have a beach towel. Look at that, holy moly. And it has tassels on the bottom. <laughs> that is, it feels hefty, it feels large. Like that would be like a big, big, big towel. A mug. Is this glass or plastic? Glass is what it feels like. Look at that. It is a yellow glass with a pink M, maybe a Mickey, Mickey handle, with uh, printing right there on the front. Holy moly, there's a lot here. You got a book. Is this a scrapbook? Let's open this. What are you? Yeah, a little scrapbook uh, with um, clear pages for, for photos. That was really fun. We're still not over. We got ornaments. Check out this glass ornament with 2024 on it. Big old Mickey, happy Mickey. Got a little photo frame ornament. A Mickey ears ornament with some of, uh, wow, that is like a 3D castle on the front of that. And finally, way down here at the bottom, making me bend over, you got another ornament, 2024. It looks like an acrylic clear uh, numerals on the front there. We are almost over. Baseball. I'm, I'm honestly feeling like this is like Spaceballs, the flamethrower. Like, honestly, there are so many products. 2024, the bus. 2024, the semi truck. 2024, the hat. 2024, the autograph book. 2024, the kid's shirt, the kid's hoodie. Okay, I, I'm done. Honestly, I'm getting tired of looking at this. There's just too many things in this line. You cannot make this up. There's still more to cover. There is a white t-shirt with mini on it and a tank top. We're done. Okay, done with World of Disney. Uh, honestly, that line got a little fake mad at the end just because there's so many things. Uh, how hard is it to like predict what the style is gonna be ahead of time? Because you know they designed that like in 2021. <laughs> they designed that a long time ago, I assume. How do you decide, like, yeah, neon. Neon, neon's the, neon's the vibe. I'm also thinking to myself, this is why you shouldn't tell yourself. You're just gonna quickly go through World of Disney like I did, because the merch sucks you in. Okay, that's where I just came from. We have made it to the Coca-Cola store, and I am seeing a Coca-Cola cinnamon display out here. Coca-Cola, cinnamon syrup, whipped cream, cinnamon, and cookie crumbles. That looks delicious. Visit the rooftop beverage bar on the third floor for that. So, holiday drinks are definitely in our future. Just, I need to see that menu. The Coca-Cola store itself obviously has a lot of Coca-Cola merchandise. So, if you have someone in your family that's a Coca-Cola fan, uh, look, I mean, look, you got classic Coke, your green Coke, Coke Zero and Diet Coke, so can't go wrong. The pathway up to the third floor is really interesting because you have to walk all the way around the building. And so they have this like glass structure that you're walking along and you can just see the outside area. And this goes all the way around the building. I've already looped like one time. 
It's one big ramp that just goes up to the third floor. Well, after completing my 10,000 steps, we are here at the rooftop bar. And it is a cool place to hang out. I mean, a, a good view, a really, really good view. There are a lot of options here. Just kind of going through, you got your mocktails, you have more mocktails, souvenir cups, fountain beverages, floats, coffees, glass, ices, water, sports energy drinks, snacks, juice and milk. I mean, it's just like a lot, a lot of options. What I'm hoping to get here is right there at the uh, second to last on the mocktails, the holiday flight. So this will have three different uh, options to test out. It looks like we got the Coca-Cola cinnamon, which I saw outside, a Sprite cranberry, and a gingerbread Coke float. I'm getting more and more excited. So they have like some of their specialty things on rotation, like the Arctic Fizz or the lavender lemonade. But I can see over there, cranberry Sprite. But also, that one has the gingerbread float on rotation, and it looks so good. Look, there's the Coca-Cola cinnamon. Sorry, I'm trying to not make y'all vomit with how fast I'm moving the camera, but Coca-Cola cinnamon looks so good. Oh, and that's what I'll be getting. The holiday flight. Oh my gosh, yes. It's honestly pretty uh, awesome to see how much work goes into each uh, mocktail that they're making, because he's been making mine for, uh, for a moment and working hard. Before I move and mess this up, this is how it was given to me. I mean, this is like every single one. It's like Instagram worthy. Those all are so well made. Cannot wait to actually taste them. This one is the one with the float. Uh, this is the cinnamon. Then the Sprite cranberry with actual cranberries and like mint on top. What? Okay, I found a place to enjoy my beverages and I have a surprise. I got the eggnog coke too. I didn't even see this thing on the menu until I was standing right there and I was like, I need that as well. I, I like eggnog. So here's everything I got. The uh, soda float, which I'm glad I recorded it before I stepped away because I promptly spilled a cranberry uh, on that tray. And then the eggnog coke. Now this is just coke with eggnog, whipped cream, cinnamon, and um, that little treat on top. I don't know where to dig in first. Honestly, this cranberry one is calling my name. I'm a bit thirsty, so that one looks the most refreshing. Now, they make Sprite Cranberry, like Sprite Cranberry exists. But this, I saw them make it. Normal Sprite with cranberry juice and cranberries and mint on top, so. That is really, that is really good. Honestly, I like the Sprite Cranberry that they like come out with like seasonally this is better. <laughs> this is a lot better. Also, I don't know why I had it in my head that, that they might actually serve alcohol up here. They don't. This is all mocktails. They don't even, they don't have any options for alcohol. Okay, next I want to try the gingerbread float. This is the only one in uh, the flight that has ice cream in it. So I'm going to kind of get a scoop of ice cream for my first taste. I love the gingerbread cookie in it. Oh, interesting. Oh my gosh, that is really gingerbread-y. That is really, honestly, they nailed the gingerbread flavor with Coke. Mmm. I love that cookie, it's like a, it's almost like a ginger snap. I'd basically say it is a ginger snap. I don't want to say it's a ginger snap because it's like light in color. Ginger snap cookies to me are always much darker. But it's like a ginger snap cookie. Don't know what else to say. Okay, next, I'm gonna finish off the, the three options on my holiday flight. This will be the cinnamon Coke. Now cinnamon is already supposed to be in Coke. I'm pretty sure that like that's one of the ingredients. So we'll see if this extra cinnamony Coke, uh, how it tastes. I will say I love the treats and the whipped cream. All you gotta really do to dress up a soda is throw whipped cream on it. And then suddenly it's like worth $6. $12? That's how much the eggnog one cost, like 12 bucks. That soaked in Coke is actually really good. Okay, let's try this cinnamon. Hmm, my least favorite out of the three. First off, this one has ice in it. I guess the float does not. The cranberry one, it didn't matter because this one has ice plus whipped cream. 
And that is not that is not working together in this. You get like whipped cream, you're all excited about it, and then I got like a chunk of ice. Don't like that. Yeah, not a fan of the cinnamon Coke. Love the cranberry Sprite. Love the gingerbread um, Coke, uh, the float, I guess I should say. I've tried every one on the flight. It is time to take a look, take a taste of the eggnog Coca-Cola. Now that just sounds absolutely ridiculous. This is their flavor of the month right now. I am honestly a little worried what this is gonna taste like. I don't mind eggnog, don't mind Coke. I'm a fan of Diet Coke more than normal Coke, but mixed, uh, uh, I'm nervous. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this without a straw. We're just gonna, I might have a like a mustache situation, especially with the cinnamon. This is giving cinnamon challenge vibes. That was a bad taste. I went in strong, but the cinnamon <laughs> is all I tasted. It was actually a mistake to just drink it without the straw because I got only cinnamon that taste. This might be my favorite so far. Coke and eggnog go together? That was a question, a rhetorical question because no one's gonna answer me. It, re it works. It really weirdly works really well, actually. This is my favorite out of all of them, honestly. You know how Coke has that like, almost like acid, <laughs> like taste sometimes, like the, it's kind of what sets like Coke Zero apart from like Diet Coke, is like Coke Zero has that like, almost bitter in a, in a way. It actually works well with kind of how weird eggnog tastes. Like eggnog has another like kind of, I don't even know how to describe eggnog to people, but they, they work. Um, they work. I'm not sure how much is gonna come through because of my automatic exposure, but it is getting darker. This is a really, this is where I've been the whole, the whole video. What an awesome spot. The AMC, oh man. Okay, so here are my thoughts. This is how far we've made it through the drinks. Eggnog has gotta be my favorite. That is like number one. I can't believe that that tastes as good as it does. Number two and three might be tied. Uh, the gingerbread float, really enjoyed that. Same thing with the cranberry Sprite. Now the cranberry Sprite may not be for everyone because it is, I almost feel like it's less holiday-y because it it's so kind of a different vibe than the almost savory options, other, other, other things. Um, cinnamon, Coke, not a fan. Not a fan, I don't even think I'm gonna continue drinking that one. Uh, but all these other ones, uh, these other three were really good. Now we're back in the endless hallway, heading down <laughs> to the surface. I do know that there is a meet and greet with the Coca-Cola polar bear. I have not looked at the times, but I'm hoping that I can get lucky and spy him. Here we go, meet polar bear. <laughs> wow, this is quite the experience. Oh my gosh. I believe that I see a bear. Look at these crazy floors. I'm on an iceberg. Yeah, but you haven't even seen the right main now. attraction yet. I haven't. And oh my god. It's not me. It's <laughs> a polar bear. I think it's you. Yeah, oh, spread your stuff. I wish it would be. <laughs> First, see the one and only oh, Coca Cola. Coca Cola polar, polar bear. bear. <laughs> How you doing? Could you give me a high five? Yeah, a paw. Nice, nice. Man, I've been enjoying uh, Coke upstairs on the third floor. Gotta say, it's been oh, great. That pleases me. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Well, it is so good to see you. Just got it. I had to say hi before I left. Well, Bear appreciated that. <laughs> you couldn't leave without saying hi to the polar bear, could you? No, of course I couldn't. <laughs> of course I couldn't. Well, well, Bear wishes you happy holidays and thanks you for coming to see him before you left. Oh, thank you, Bear. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I got to meet the Coca-Cola polar bear. Pretty awesome. You can even get, <laughs> you seem morbid right outside the meet and greet with polar bear. Okay, that wraps up my evening here at the Coca-Cola store. <laughs> Honestly, I ended up having a really fun time. The uh, holiday flights were pretty good and uh, that eggnog drink, that took me by surprise. And then finishing off with a nice bear meet and greet. Can't go wrong with that. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today and had some fun with me along the way. Until next time, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.